Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs and today I've got another treat box for you. This time it has a little Debbie pumpkin delight. Here's the box. I know you've probably seen them in the stores and we've got to make something cute to hold them, right? So I made this little slider box where it just slides in and out and it features the two every season stamp set. I've used it with the Apple Builder Punch to make a pumpkin and I think that this leaf is a perfect pumpkin leaf. I really do. So let's look at the stamp set. Uh, the, as the name suggests, two every season is perfect for every season. You've got fall leaves, winter um, snowflakes, and hearts for Valentine's, and Halloween bats. And I just love the basic sentiments. And everybody loves a punch, especially these tiny mini punches, which even my kids can't get enough of. Really, really fun. All right, so we're gonna use the leaf, and we're gonna use the leaf stamps, and we're gonna make this adorable slider box. Now, before I get started, there are going to be some measurements that you need, and if you hop over to my blog, click the link in the description, under the last photo, you will find this uh, PDF, and it has, here's the project we're making with all the products I used, as well as all the score lines and dimensions that you need. It also has two other projects using this awesome bundle, so hop over there and check it out. Okay, let's make the box first, and I just put that paper over there, and I'm going to need it. You're gonna need a piece of soft suede that measures three and three fourths by nine inches. Let's start by scoring the long side at four and a fourth and four and three fourths. This box is only half an inch thick. Then on the short side, we're gonna score it at half an inch and three and a fourth. All right, very, very easy construction box. You can make this in all colors, in all seasons, for anything that you want to slide in and out. Now I've burnished those lines, and I'm just going to take my scissors and snip those lines. And all we're going to do is fold this up like that. All right. Now before we do that, let's match these up and let's punch that. See how it has a hole right there? Let's punch that hole where we want it. You can use your pencil and ruler if you want to measure and make sure it's exactly halfway. But I'm going to eyeball it. I'm doing one at a time and then lining it up and doing the other. We'll do the same here with the paper in just a second, okay? So let's take that designer series paper. This is the Monster Bash DSP. You can see it's Halloween on the back, but this Baroque pattern on the front that's in crushed curry is gorgeous. And I think it's perfect for Thanksgiving or fall. All right, so we're gonna adhere it right there. Then take your punch, match it up, and now that hole is perfect. Now, I'm only putting the paper on the front, but you could, of course, put it on the back if you'd like. Okay, now, let's take a little bit of adhesive and put right there on those squares. Fold up the back first, then put that adhesive right on the inside of those front tabs and fold him up. And there you have it. Easy peasy, right? Okay, let's get one of these pumpkins. Aren't they so cute? So cute. And grab the ribbon. Now I'm using a uh, ribbon from our annual catalog, Magnolia Lane ribbon. It uh, goes with a magnolia suite, but it's just a neutral, kind of a khaki crumb cake color. Oh, this is a fat pumpkin. He doesn't want to fit. <laughs> there we go. He was fatter than his brother. Now I wrap that ribbon around as I put him in there, and then I'm going to take the ribbon and make it come out through that hole on that side and do the same back here like that, okay? Now let's get it even, and we will tie our bow. So just kind of a fun little uh, pull there going through those holes. Now, of course, you don't have to do the holes. It would work the same way without them, but I just think it's kind of fun to be able to pull that through, that slide like that. Okay, let's straighten that bow, and then we will make the adorable pumpkin. 
Now this punch that we're making the pumpkin with is called the apple builder punch because it makes both an apple and a pumpkin. So we're gonna, of course, use it to make the pumpkin. It will punch out the stem, as you can see, which while we have it, why don't we punch the stem from soft suede cardstock. And it does punch a leaf, but I think that that leaf really is geared more towards an apple. It looks like an apple leaf to me. So that's why we're gonna use this um, leaf from To Every Season to make a better pumpkin leaf. And they look fallish too. Now I've got my light pumpkin pie stamp and blend. And I'm just gonna just very, very lightly add in some of these lines on our pumpkin. I've punched it from pumpkin pie and I'm using a light pumpkin pie stamp and blend just to add a little bit of texture, really lightly. Um, the other color that works really well here is um, the light um, Calypso Coral. Okay, and it fades as it sits there. Now I'm gonna take a Stampin' Sponge and some pumpkin pie and I'm gonna just ink these edges. This is really gonna make it pop and look more realistic. All right. Now this is our Stampin' Sponge. They come in circles and I cut them into wedges, okay? So that's what I've done and I've just stapled a piece of cardstock, a punched cardstock to show me what color that that one is, which that one says cage and craze, but I use them interchangeably. Okay, now we've had this discussion on my Facebook Lives about this stem. I believe an apple stem is like that and a pumpkin stem is like that. Do you agree? I think so. I am obsessed with pumpkins. Some call me a crazy pumpkin lady but that's okay, I love them. So I have seen a few pumpkin stems and I think that that's how they go. Okay, let's stamp these leaves. We've got soft suede, uh, mossy meadow and crushed curry and we're gonna stamp just one of the green, two of the yellow and two of the brown. Let's start with the lightest color. This is crushed curry um, ink on crushed curry cardstock. This is the littlest leaf in the um, stamp set. There are three leaves, but the there are three of each of the little the little shapes. But the smallest is what matches the punch. And this gross thing right here is my <laughs> Stampin' Shammy, and it is amazing. A great way to quickly and easily clean your stamps. You just rinse it out in the sink, throw it in the wash machine if you'd like, and it comes out stained but clean every time. It's just water that I use to clean those stamps. Okay, let's punch these leaves out and we're gonna start putting together our little pumpkin slider box. Now, um, this stamp set, of course, like I mentioned, goes through Valentine's Day. And I have several projects on my blog that I'm gonna be showing you um, next week that use this stamp set. So make sure you hop back over to my blog and get some more awesome ideas for making your own little two every season projects. The fun thing is that they can all be interchangeable. This could change to Valentine's or Christmas or whatever season you have. Now I have embossed a piece of soft suede cardstock with our corrugated embossing folder. And I'm just gonna trim it off right there. It's just a one inch strip. Then I'm gonna take a two and a fourth inch vellum circle. And I'm gonna put that on behind our pumpkin. That just kind of makes our pumpkin a more, of, gives it more of a focal point. Make, it makes us focus more on, it doesn't blend in or, or appear too busy with that pattern paper. All right, dimensionals, 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 of course. And then I'm gonna grab some mini dimensionals. And I'm gonna just layer these here. I'm gonna put one there. And I'm gonna put the green one, the mossy meadow one up here at the top. I'm gonna put another, a yellow. I'm not thinking, did you guys see that? Good grief. What's happening? 
I need more coffee today. Put that one there. And then I'm gonna actually take my mini glue dots and stick this one coming from behind. And same with this one. We'll have this one kind of pointing up. You want them pointing in different directions. Oh my gosh, so cute. We've got one thing left. We need to stamp that sentiment. And I'm just gonna use the word thankful. And we're just gonna cut it apart. We don't need, let's stamp it right here in the corner. We don't need to really mask it because I'm just gonna cut it. Now, I wanted it to be a little bit smaller than the full sentiment. So that's why I have cut it down. All right, and we are done. What do you think? A fun fall project featuring another of my favorite Little Debbie snack cakes. Make sure that you click on my blog, go over there and visit. There is a Little Debbie cake snack finder link under this photo. You click it, you enter your zip code, and it'll tell you where you can buy each Little Debbie snack in your area. You guys, make sure you get the PDF and let me know if you have any questions and happy holidays. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.